Do you remember the joys of childhood? The feeling of independence while building your first fort? Or the annual December dash towards a tree surrounded by presents? Your childhood has shaped you more than you may realize. But what if none of that happened? What if your childhood was interrupted by something traumatic? An event that most people won't talk about and honestly couldn't even fathom. Like early exposure to drugs or alcohol, being removed from your home because the living conditions just weren't safe, or the unthinkable, childhood sexual abuse, or even being a victim of human trafficking. What if that child was you? Would you be sitting where you are right now? Not without help. Blank Children's Star Center provides the help children facing trauma need when they need it most. We aim to not only improve each child's health and well-being, we are committed to increasing their resiliency to cope with the trauma that no child should ever have to endure. But without our generous donors, thousands of children experiencing trauma may never be connected to the help they so desperately need. We know from the Adverse Childhood Experiences research that toxic stress and trauma can have adverse impacts on a child's health and well-being into adulthood. We also know that children who have experienced six or more traumas or adverse childhood experiences can be 25 times more likely to attempt suicide. And what's really important to remember is that the behaviors that we see in these children, that's because of the trauma. It's not because these children are bad children. These children are great children. They just experience some bad things. Our Central Iowa-based services are leading the way in trauma-informed care for children. And because of that, our services are in demand more than ever. Our Child Advocacy Center is dedicated to providing a safe and neutral place for children to talk and receive exams when there have been allegations of abuse and neglect. It's sad that we need to have this resource available to us, but when you look at what they're doing to help the children who um, need these services and also lighten the load a little bit on all the law enforcement agencies in the Metro, um, it's a tremendous benefit to the police departments because it, again, allows us to focus on what we're best at and then get the people who are best in their practices um, focusing on the, on the victims. We also offer a trio of specialized clinics, such as the Drug and Endangered Children Clinic, which serves children who have been exposed to drugs and or alcohol to provide the non-judgmental support they need. We do have a terrible methamphetamine problem in our state to this day. And when children are born with or are exposed later to drugs in their environment or in their bodies, there are going to be consequences. Our Growth and Nutrition Clinic helps families provide nutrition to children who are malnourished or are just struggling with growth and weight gain and a foster care clinic that provides multiple services that include medical care, behavioral health, school readiness, and care coordination for children removed from their homes. Well, we know that children in the foster care system are defined as uh, children with special health care needs. 80% of them have some unmet medical or mental health need. Um, and these are children who just need that extra time, that extra attention, that uh, the extra services that we can provide. Somebody is new to the foster care world. They're they're going to court. They're they're having to they're being required to do these doctor's visits. To have one area to say, okay, we can take care of all the child's medical needs right here. I honestly don't know if we would have stuck with it as long. Having them there as a resource and as a primary care for those kiddos has been extremely important for us. The only way an organization like Blank Children's Star Center can thrive is through a strong community backing. When the abuse ends, childhood begins.